be a lovely party. <laughs> right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Hazel, how nice. <laughs> I thought you might like a little snack in, in case they served you dinner late. <laughs> oh, so delicious. I'll have two right away. Drinks or appetizers? <laughs> <laughs> appetizers, silly. <laughs> Come on in and sit down. Mr. B, I fixed it so you get your favorite chair tonight. That's what you think. <laughs> How'd you get him to do that? Dog repellent. It gets him every time. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Durham, um, have you had any, uh, any luck in finding some property? Oh, my, yes. Several pieces. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, but it's only the beginning. Oh. <laughs> now the dickering starts. And it looks like it's going to be some time before any of those owners come around to my price. Well, I, uh, I believe that the uh, Maple Avenue property's not too far out of line. I uh, think that uh, perhaps it won't be too long before they accept your offer. Well, you never can tell about these things, George. From now on, it's going to be something like a game of poker. You're just going to have to sit back and wait it out. I do hope it won't take too long, Ashton. You know how difficult Rodney can be when he gets bored. <laughs> If you ask me, he was born bored. Oh, I uh, just noticed the time. If we don't leave now, we'll be late. Now, you be a good little boy while Mom's is away. <laughs> Hazel, first thing in the morning, I want you to call the exterminator and have that chair fumigated. <laughs> Just a minute, Hazel. Oh, I didn't buy no rod to beat him with, if that's what you mean, Mr. <laughs> the book tells you how to train a dog, and this special collar helps you do the job. But, Hazel, Rodney's been spoiled all his life. He's a little old to change now. Well, the book says a dog is never too old to learn. Hazel, I admit there are plenty of things Rodney should be taught, but... You're Don Tootin', and I'm just the girl to teach him that us humans has got to be obeyed. <laughs> No, 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 Rodney. I paid $4.95 for that book. <laughs> Rodney, no. No. There, there, dear. The... Morning. Good morning, Hazel. Just uh, put it on the table there. <laughs> the sun tide. <laughs> Oh, dear, he did it again. The poor baby had such a restless night. He sneezed four times. You don't say. <laughs> the poor darling's completely exhausted this morning. So I think you better let him rest now, Hazel, and serve his breakfast later on. Are you kidding? You mean because he sneezed four times, he's too weak to eat? <laughs> oh, I do hope he isn't going to start suffering with his allergy again. I never heard of an allergic dog. Rodney's another one of those unfortunate cases the doctors can diagnose but don't know how to cure. He is. 
It's a sort of combination of asthma and hay fever that overcomes him. And when it happens, all we can do is head straight for Maine. <laughs> straight to where? After all else had failed, the doctors recommended Rodney have a change of climate. The only place he could get any relief was Maine. <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> Rodney, darling, you're feeling better. Look, Hazel, it isn't his allergy after all. <laughs> no, it isn't. Come here, baby. Mother will serve your breakfast right away before it gets cold. <laughs> You want to buy what? That's right. Uh, six of them. No, no, you better make it a dozen. And they gotta be in bloom. I guess I could find some for you in that vacant lot in back of the gas works, but <laughs> I gotta charge you for putting them. Oh, it'll be worth it. I'll pick them up this afternoon. <laughs> What's she suddenly so happy about? It can't be she's learned to like serving breakfast in bed to a dog. <laughs> Mom, she feels so sorry for a baby. Good morning. I don't think he'll eat a thing. The poor darling's allergy is back. He had a terrible night. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You packing? We have to leave for Maine just as soon as I can finish. <laughs> it's the only way Rodney can get any relief. Well, we want to get him well as fast as we can. Anything I can do to help? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Durham. Thanks, Mr. Bye. Now, send the papers to me in Maine as soon as you close the deal. And thanks for putting us up. I will. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can hardly believe they're gone. They left in such a hurry. I'm glad. Now, Smiley can come home. Yeah, but I feel sort of guilty about the dirty trick I pulled on Rodney. What dirty trick? Look! Hazel, that's ragweed. Yeah, I planted it as soon as I heard about Rodney's allergy. <laughs> I hope he gets over it quick. <laughs> Don't worry, Hazel. We won't report you to the SPCA. As a matter of fact, I'm going to recommend you for a citation from the SPCP. What's the SPCP? <laughs> well, that's a society for the prevention of cruelty to people, especially mailmen. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, let's uh, pick up Smiley. That's what I've been waiting to hear, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sun guy. Boy, we better get rid of that ragweed, or they'll be shipping you off to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Production.